Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be showing you how I got this look and give you all my opinions and basically my review on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And so yeah, I'm just going to show you how I got this eye look and I'm going to basically tell you what I think of this palette. I've had it since probably about like February 16th, 17th. I got it like right when it came out and I've used it quite some time and I pretty much have used every single, I've used every single shadow in this palette so I can tell you what I think of all of them, not just a few. It's not my first impression. I'm telling you what I think of them. So if you would like to see how I got this look, my thoughts and opinions, some swatches on this palette, then please keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our Soft Glam palette. And I am just going, I kind of already put, um, I put concealer on my eyes to prime them. And I sort of put a little bit of translucent powder, but I'm going to go back into Tempero, which is this white shade. And I'm going to kind of put that all over the lid. Just so that the colors stand out better. Okay, now I'm going to take a crease brush. So basically, I'm going to take this light cream shade orange soda. And I'm going to put it all over my crease. So, basically, I got this palette when it first came out from Anastasia Beverly Hills. came out Valentine's Day. My hubby bought it for me for Valentine's Day. So, so I've actually had this palette for almost a month now. And I have been using it a lot. I just like recently got another palette last week and I've been using that the past week but for the most part every other time I was using this palette and I was seeing what I liked better, if I liked this one better, if I like Modern Renaissance better, if this one was lacking something that I needed. Basically just took notes on everything that I needed to know about this palette because no joke I've like really put it to use. Let's go into the next color. I'm going to take Burnt Orange next which is this orange shade. I think this shade is actually in Modern Renaissance. More orangey. I'm gonna put it all over the crease. But back to what I was saying. I learned that these shimmer shades, they are very gorgeous. They are pretty, they're everything I could want and more. And specifically, I have this one palette that I like and there's like a rosy shimmer shade in it. And it's like one of my favorite shades to wear ever. Like I wear it all the time so pretty it looks pretty on my skin blends into my skin tone perfectly i love it so i really thought this palette would complement my skin tone and like my eye color and hair color and everything not saying that it doesn't complement but just for me my preference i don't like the shimmer shades on my lids like i don't like i don't like how my eye look comes out when i use these shimmer shades i just i just don't then i'm going to take sienna right here and i'm going to put it in my crease more lower in my crease okay so this palette i do think has a lot of good shades in it i think you can get a very neutral eye look or you can go very glam it does do that for you a lot of the colors tempura burnt orange sienna cypress umber all those colors are in the modern renaissance palette so like i mean if you have modern renaissance and you like it I use modern renaissance because I vibe with those colors like those mauve colors like I like those colors when I first ever got a palette it was the Carly Bible palette and most of our colors in there were all mauve colors and I just loved how those colors looked on my eyelid so I do vibe with that palette if that's not your type of palette and you're more into the orangey tones you're gonna like this palette a lot more just like I said for some reason the shimmers don't complement my eyeshadow which is the reason why I don't necessarily I don't know it's not that I don't like it because I do like this eyeshadow palette I really do I just use it a lot more in conjunction with the modern renaissance palette for like more of those mauvey colors I think to have both palettes it's really good I like it I'm glad I got this palette it's just the shimmer shades did not stack up to what I expected them to be 
but the formula is great. It really blends out great. I really do love it. Now I'm going to put a shimmer shade all over my lid. Okay, no joke. I haven't filmed in probably over like two weeks. Like I've just been in this rut and I have not filmed a video in two weeks. So I'm like trying to get used to talking to the camera again and it's driving me crazy. But anyways, so for the shimmer shade that I'm going to use all over the lid, I'm going to go in like these two shimmers are gorgeous. They are beautiful. They just don't go with my skin tone. I don't know what it is, but I'm basically going to take um, Sultry, just this dark. It looks like it's going to be like this pinky color, but it's actually like a dark red color like, or a dark brown. It's not so much pinkish reddish as it shows in... I don't know if you can see that. It's not so much as the pink reddish shows as it shows in like the pan. It's more brown tone. Like when you look, when I look at it, I see freaking brown. But I'm gonna use that all over my lid because I think that's the only one I haven't used all over my lid. I've used all of them except that one. I think I've tried, but I didn't like the way it looked. So I took it off. But I'm gonna wet my brush. As always, like this probably doesn't even need to be wet because it's so pigmented, like very pigmented. If Anastasia made all of their palettes exactly like this one and the Modern Renaissance, like every single palette, I would buy it. I'd buy it. Like if they would have made like subcult, like. I don't know, I th guess I watched too many reviews and like reviews influence me. Like if somebody says something's bad, like I'm kind of like, mm, I don't want to spend my money on that. So I don't get it. So I never got Subculture, but when Subculture first came out, I was like all for it. Like I wanted it. I remember telling my husband about it like way before I even heard of it. That I wanted Subculture very badly. Then I saw all the reviews and I was like, oh, okay, never mind. And I never bought it. So, and then because of that, also, like that Prism palette came out later and I wanted that Prism palette. But again, I watched reviews and it wasn't, wasn't expected to like Modern Renaissance. And I feel like if you have such success with like Modern Renaissance, and then you try to do something different people aren't gonna like it so I, and I feel like so many people already went and bought this palette and like it because it's the simple fact it's like modern renaissance and it's more neutral like I would just keep all the palettes like modern renaissance create different colors create prettier colors I, I don't know the complication of all making colors etc but I do know this that modern renaissance was a hit you created this palette, it was a hit. It was a lot of like the same kind of tones. You can create a more like palette, like subculture, like with unique tones in it like that, colorful colors. I think it would be a hit. I think that's what Anastasia really needs to do. So now I'm gonna take orange soda again, the first shade we used, on a blending brush, a fluffier blending brush, and I'm just kind of gonna blend this out so it's not so harsh of a line. But as you can see, my eyes look very dark, sultry, and it's a very dark. I did use a very dark shadow, but like in my head when I first saw pictures and stuff, I was thinking that shadow was going to be like more of a dark pink shade, more pinky, but it looks just a lot more brown. So it does have more brown undertones. In my mind, when I put this on, I think it's going to have like so much glitter and just ba bam, sham, and like right in your face, but it doesn't. So like... I just need I need something more so I'm going to take rose pink which is this pinky shade right here and I'm going to take it with my finger and I'm going to put it on top of it so it gives it more of that pinky vibe rather than it being so brown when I mix these two shades together I like them now that I'm looking at it I've never used this shade with it but now that I'm mixing them together I like them when I use that rose pink shade on its own I don't like it but that's just me I'm like crazy picky so okay now we're gonna go in the outer corner so I'm going to take mulberry 
this shade right here. It's a red shade. And I'm going to go on the outer corner. And I'm also going to take a little bit of Cypress Ombre on top of it so it's not so red. It has more of a darker color, brown. I know it's like a waste. Like, people don't like fallout on eyeshadow palettes. Like, this eyeshadow palette has the same amount of fallout as Modern Renaissance. Like, it has fallout. But there's something that's, like, satisfying to me about fallout. When I, like, get a palette that doesn't have fallout, I'm kind of, like, turned away from it for some reason. I don't know why. It's just a weird obsession I guess I have. Actually, that gave me the brown color I wanted. Like, it's not super intensely red. I think it because it blended in with Sultry and because it's brown, it's not showing up as red. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So then I'm going to take Temper again. And I'm just going to go underneath my brow bone. And I always do this with, like, a big fluffy brush. And then I kind of use my finger and I, like, blend it a little bit. That's just what I do. Could do nothing but to me. It looks like it did something. Alright, so now I'm going to put eyeliner on, liquid eyeliner, and then I'm going to do the rest of my face until I get to my lower lash line, and I'll be back to do my lower lash line. So now that I did my face pretty much, I am going to go into the lower lash line before I put setting spray and all of that on. So yeah, let's do that. So first I'm going to start off with like the same shades that I used in the crease. Basically orange soda is going to be first. Then I'm going to take burnt orange. Okay, and then I'm going to take sienna. I feel like I'm looking up and I'm not even like paying attention to what I'm doing. Then I'm going to take a smaller pencil brush and I'm going to take Mulberry and put it on the outer third. I'm not too mad at this eyeshadow look. I actually kind of like it. I'm shocked. I'm shocked and I've been using this palette for a long time but for some reason I just didn't want to use that shade so I never used it. Now I'm going to do an inner corner highlight and I think I'm going to go, I don't know if I should do an inner corner like pink highlight, I'm going to do like this rose pink and I'm going to put it on the inner corner and just make the whole vibe pinky. That's intense so I don't know if you can see it as much as I can. <laughs> That's intense. Okay, so now that we have all that on, I am going to spray my face with some setting spray and I'm gonna put eyelashes and lipstick and then I'll be back and give you my thoughts. Okay, so my thoughts on this Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette is, of course, I like it. I do like it. I like all the matte shades in it. I think they blend really great. I think they're really pretty. The problem I has with, have with is the shimmer shades. They're like different from many other shimmer shades, which I guess could be unique to some people. But to me, in my opinion, for my skin tone and what I look like, these shimmer shades don't appeal to me. Like, this eye look that I came up with, it came out really good. I like this eye look. I actually, Sultry is probably my favorite shade out of all of them. Like, what I was really attracted to was the bronze. It's just too bronzy for me. It's just, it's just too, it's not an, it's too yellowy. And it just doesn't look good on my eye shape. That's what I've been trying to say. It doesn't look good on my eye shape. So you heard a lot of my opinions throughout the video. But overall, I like it. It's worth it. I love it in conjunction with the Modern Renaissance palette. And I've been using both of the palettes together, like, nonstop for a while now. So, yeah, I do really like this palette. And I highly recommend it. And especially if you like neutral colors. If you have eye shape like mine, I don't know. I don't know what it is about my eye and why those shimmer colors don't look good. But they, they may look good and you may think they look good on me. But in my opinion, when I look at myself, I'm like, ooh, I don't really... It's not my favorite eyeshadow look. 
So yeah, that was my opinion on this eyeshadow look. I absolutely love this palette. I think it's gorgeous and I recommend it. I would recommend it. I would recommend it. Even though like I am not a big fan of it, but I like to use it in conjunction with a lot of other palettes because it has a lot of neutral colors, especially matte colors that I can use with a lot of other palettes. So in my opinion, it's worth it to me. I'm glad I got it and I really like it. So yeah, that was my opinion on this look and this palette. I would love to know if you got this palette, what your opinion is, if you think it's worth it, if you don't. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.